Castle's Corner. I am Coach Castle, and today we'll be doing a review and a brief summary of Doug Brignoli and his partner Moe's uh, effort in the documentary Game Change Biomechanics Revelations in Resistance Exercise. Now the documentary I highly recommend. Uh, it begins with the photographs of many champion bodybuilders past and present who have used Doug's knowledge to their advantage uh, in achieving their ideal physique. The home of where a lot of things happened, including when I won my division in Mr. America and in Mr. Universe. Michael Jordan came to work out here. Right there in front, I stood there with Dave Draper. Uh, that's a historic picture. Um, down here a little bit, I stood with Boyer Co. One time, Sean Ray, and many people know Sean Ray, he's very well known in, not only in the bodybuilding world, but just even in the sports world. Uh, fantastic bodybuilder, fantastic personality. He was uh, producing a video called Lifestyles of the Fit and Famous. And I guess he decided to include me in that Fit and Famous group. And he came here and uh, with his camera crew and, and uh, he walked through the door and of course I was surprised to see him. It was an anniversary party we were having. Uh, so that's why when you see this footage, you'll see that, you know, it's festive. It's not what you'd expect to see in a day-to-day -day gym. Well, we've got a DJ playing simultaneously in the aerobic room. Five-piece band is playing here in the weight room. We've got our, our uh, no-host bar here. We've got it fully catered um, by a company called Castle Catering, doing a fabulous job. We've got the USC Trojan Marching Band doing the opening number for us. We've got about a 1,000 guests. We're having a great time. It then goes on to introduce Doug's younger self when he was 14. He was introduced to Bill Pearl and began his bodybuilding career under his tutelage. Uh, he was actually scrubbing the bathroom stalls uh, in exchange for his membership. Uh, Doug then moves on to recount stories of opening his first gym in Pasadena, which he owned and operated for 14 years. Uh, several old school videos later, uh, Doug begins to explain when he first began to question basic so-called common sense exercises and the reasons for his curiosity. We've all been told that compound exercises are king. Um, and, you know, since I got into bodybuilding at 15, 16 years old, I was hearing that. But, you know, I was experimenting with compound exercises and isolation exercises, and it got me to thinking. When there's three muscles involved, like in a squat, for example, the quadriceps, the glutes, the, the lower back, the erector spinae, the question everyone should be asking is, are each of these muscles doing the best they can do? Getting the most they can get as compared to how they would be participating in an isolation exercise. They can't possibly be benefiting by the other one working simultaneously, right? They're doing their job and that's all they know about. So the question is, how do we evaluate that? Well, you evaluate that using physics, you evaluate that using neurology, and using anatomical uh, directions of motion. So the squat is a complicated thing to explain in, in short, but let me just say that the lower leg is the operating lever of the quadricep, and because of its barely 30 degree angle, it only gives the quadricep about 30% of the load that you're using on your back. And so since you can sense that you can use more weight, you put more weight on your spine, further compress your spine to compensate for the fact that you're using an inefficient lower leg lever instead of fixing that lower leg lever angle. Okay, so there's a, a thing there. When you're doing a compound movement and you're, let's say, hitting the glutes, hip extension, and quads, knee extension, each of those two muscle functions would benefit more by a different direction of resistance. But because it's one exercise, you have one direction of resistance, and so they both get compromised. That you need dynamic extension and contraction of a muscle in the right direction of anatomical motion for maximum benefit. 
However, by utilizing his creative and engineer-driven brain, Doug soon realized the fallacy of ego lifting after progressively realizing the importance of certain biomechanical factors involved in rate training. Now, Doug's hands-on uh, approach of more than 40 years, combined with thousands of hours of research, has resulted in his groundbreaking book, The Physics of Resistance Exercise, and later into this documentary, Game Change, which reveals the game-changing perspective on what defines an efficient and optimally effective exercise with the least possible injury risk. Now, for most people, this is fantastically useful information, unless you're dogmatic in which case you're probably just going to be annoyed by it. <laughs> uh, Doug then gets into the principles of biomechanics as well as how he discovered them and a thorough explanation of several of the key biomechanical factors involved in productive or efficient exercise. You guys have heard me speak on these before, these 16. And in the way that only Doug can, over the course of only 15 minutes, he manages to logically discredit a large portion of the fitness industry's complete and utter nonsense through basic logical explanations and demonstrations in a very clear and concise way, which allow you to make your own conclusions. Again, something Doug is known for. So another one of the 16 factors is range of motion. Right? Everyone needs to think about the range of motion. If you're doing an exercise, ask yourself, what is full extension and full contraction in this exercise? What surprises me is you see these people and I don't know if they're even thinking when they're doing a set, but they're doing this little itty bitty movement, right? They know that this opens the muscle and this contracts the muscle. And then sometimes I'll tell them, no, 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 do full range of motion. And they'll do a, a rep or two. And then they go right back to this again. And it's like, okay, so I'm gonna not say anything because I don't wanna be a pain in the ass here. But, but the fact is that full range of motion is better than partial range of motion and partial range of motion is better than no range of motion, which means isometric is even less good than partial range of motion. What are planks? Isometric. You can't possibly expect an optimum muscular development benefit for the abdominals by doing an isometric exercise if it isn't even partial range of motion, much less full range of motion. Now, some people would argue that you're trying to protect your spine, and I would argue, well, overextending the spine is bad, over contracting the spine is bad, but there is a safe range of motion. So knowing the limits of each joint of the spine, of the shoulder, of the knees, of the back, knowing those things and working within the parameters that are known to be safe is part of the 16 factors too. Next, we get into when Mo met Doug when he was a tennis instructor in 2015. He was introduced to Doug on Rick's Corner and later purchased Doug's book, The Physics of Fit Fitness. Now, like all who read Doug's book, Mo was amazed by the information and the simple and sensible approach. And much like myself, he felt the knowledge was extraordinarily important to share with the world for the benefit of all. I was looking for the best bicep exercise. So I went online and typed that, and I got many suggestions from different uh, fitness influencers and bodybuilders. But I didn't find the exact answer that I was looking for. Why is it a good exercise? So by chance, I got Doug Brignoli uh, video on Rick's Corner. And he was explaining many things that I didn't hear before. So at the end, he said, if you want to know more, check out my book. I got his book, and I was really fascinated about it. The information that is there, I didn't hear other bodybuilders talking about, or I'm a... a certified personal trainer and they didn't even mention the biomechanics the way he mentioned it and neurology and all that so I reached out to him and I told him are you doing anything about this like where can people find this and I found out that he's not the guy who will be taking this to the world so that's why I wanted to get this uh, to uh, like anyone who's interested in learning the proper way uh, of resistance training and really benefit from this knowledge because I believe it will uh, impact them positively and get them the results that they were looking for. What I like about Doug is that he is uh, originally a bodybuilder. He has 43 years of competitive bodybuilding and he's also able to explain complex biomechanics in an easy language that anybody can understand. 
That's what, uh, what made me really connect with him. And I feel that even if a person doesn't know about fitness enough, when he hears this for the first time, it will make sense to him. And he will be able to implement these principles to his daily workout routine. And he will see uh, different uh, results from these exercises. Now, anyone who has ever wondered whether your workout programs are the right one, whether you're training correctly, the best exercises, the best program, the best split, you can certainly relate to this. And now that is the best part of biomechanics, is its non-debatable nature, translating to amazingly effective, unquestionable results. You know you are doing the best. Don't care about so... Mo urged Doug to share the information with the world, and this documentary is a large part of it. I highly recommend all of you watch this documentary and you share it with others in the fitness industry. The documentary Game Changers by Doug Brignoli and Mo Larvey is about the evolution of weight training. Now, it's from circus acts and strength exhibitions in the early 1900s, then into its de-evolution of sales tactics and money-based marketing schemes and now finally, it's back again, better than ever, into a much more refined biomechanical strategy that optimizes muscular development with minimal wasted effort. It also tells the story of the person who revealed the new strategy while winning many titles and trophies, including the Mr. Universe along the way. All of the links are below in the description box, guys. If you found this helpful and you'd like to see more of these videos, please like share comment subscribe don't forget it's a little thing for you it's a big thing for me everybody keep making those gains keep learning and digesting these kinds of information it's what you need to know have a great day everyone